Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to this channel, as usual we will present the latest football news, so let's go. Nunez's performance with Liverpool has been criticized, he has only scored two goals in six games across all competitions. However, Jamie Carragher defended Darwin Nunez, asking people not to rush to judge the striker as the new Liverpool. The Samba dance celebration performed by Vinicius after scoring a goal was reproached because his celebration was considered provocative, his action apparently made Mallorca players and coach Javier Aguirre offended, on the other hand players like Neymar, Thiago Silva, defended Vinicius to keep doing his trademark. Raheem Sterling has landed a new role at Chelsea under Graham Potter, Potter is using a 3-5-2 scheme of play and Sterling is plotted as a left winger, Sterling admits that he is enjoying his new job at the Blues. Sun Hyun Min's performance this season is different from last season, Sun still hasn't scored for Tottenham Hotspur this season, however, manager Antonio Conte insists he still believes in the player. After Luis Enrique announced the 25 players called up to defend Spain to face Switzerland and Portugal, there was no Ansu Fati name in the Spanish squad. Luis Enrique reveals the reason not to include Ansu Fati in the Spain squad. This is because Ansu Fati is still struggling to become a core player at Barcelona. Harry Maguire has lost his position as Manchester United's main defender since the arrival of Eric Ten Hag. He has only played 190 minutes in the Premier League this season. Now the Manchester United back line is led by Verne and also Lissandro Martinez. Jack Grealish is still in the spotlight because he has never shown his best game at Manchester City. Previously many parties had high expectations for this English player. Even so Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola is still patient with Jack Grealish, Guardiola believes Grealish just needs the right momentum to look good. Frank Lampard has held talks with Gareth Southgate over Jordan Pickford's fitness and assured him that England's number one goalkeeper will be fit for the World Cup. Earlier Pickford picked up a thigh injury during his superb performance in the Merseyside Derby. Jude Bellingham is a young player on the rise at the moment, the English midfielder has performed well with Borussia Dortmund. Now Jude Bellingham is increasingly in demand by giant clubs after Manchester United and Liverpool, now Chelsea are reportedly also going to chase him next year. The 19-year-old has made 99 appearances and made 13 goals and 18 assists for Dortmund. Mikel Arteta admits he is concerned about Emil Smith-Rowe's fitness issues. The 22-year-old, who has been plagued by injury and illness over the past few months, is sidelined due to pain in his groin. Arteta said, it's very frustrating, he's a kid that loves playing, it's the biggest thing in his life, and when he's not capable of doing that, especially after the run of games and performances that he had with us the year before, it's just difficult. Former Arsenal striker Alexander Lacazette is reportedly set to undergo surgery after a video of his hoarse voice went viral on social media. The France international left many confused on social media after his post-match interview. It is reported that the 31-year-old has apparently had small growth polyps on his vocal cords, which were surgically removed during the international break. Holland immediately looked good after joining from Borussia Dortmund last summer, he immediately scored nine goals in his first five Premier League games, he even scored a hat-trick in two consecutive games against Crystal Palace and Nottingham Forest. For his nine goals, Holland set a record as the player with the most goals in the first five matches. Pep Guardiola is satisfied with the performance of Erling Holland. Guardiola believes Holland can score more goals. Arsenal performed well at the start of the season. They were able to top the standings with 15 points from six matches. One of the players who has always been a mainstay of Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta at the beginning of this season is Ben White. 
he is irreplaceable in the Gunners defense by always appearing in six games. Uniquely, White has played a slightly different role this season, he was shifted to play at right back, but Ben White is enjoying his new role at Arsenal this season. Inter Milan is rumored to be adding to the squad in the winter of January. Several players will be brought in, one of which is Manchester United's central midfielder, namely Donny van de Beek. Inter are interested in the 25-year-old player. Now Donny van de Beek is still excluded from the Manchester United main squad. Since joining in 2020, van de Beek has often not been played and has even been loaned to Everton. Aston Villa manager Steven Gerrard has expressed his delight at the way Tyrone Mings has responded after losing the captaincy. Gerrard opted to take the armband from Mings, with John McGinn appointed captain instead. I'm extremely pleased. He showed a lot of character and a lot of guts. I put that noise on Tyrone so that was my situation. The reason I did that is because when I came into this job I inherited the boys I did there was a lot of noise around him and I felt that affected his performances and consistency," said Gerard. Real Madrid will face the Madrid Derby on Sunday night without several of their key players, who have picked up injuries. At a press conference, Ancelotti confirmed that they would get Eder Militao back, having previously missed the last two games due to injury but returned to training for a week, now Eder Militao is ready to play. Atletico Madrid have received a boost ahead of their clash at home to Real Madrid in their city derby. Goalkeeper Jan Oblak has been struggling with fitness issues of late, and will be available against Los Blancos. Diego Simeone has confirmed Jan Oblak will be the goalkeeper against Real Madrid. The 29-year-old Belgian forward's return to the capital Lombardy started well, with a goal and an assist in his first three Serie A appearances, but he was forced to take a break at the end of August with a muscle injury. Lukaku has now missed his last five games in the league and Champions League. Now Lukaku will return to Inter after the upcoming international break. Aston Villa won 1-0 over Southampton. Nottingham Forest lost 2-3 to Fulham. Wolves lost 0-3 to Manchester City. Newcastle draw 1-1 against Bournemouth. Tottenham Hotspur 6-2 win over Leicester. Mallorca won 1-0 over Almeria. Barcelona win 3-0 over Elche. Valencia win 3-0 over Celta Vigo. Athletic Club won 3-2 over Rayo Vallecano. Bologna lost 0-1 to Empoli. Spezia won 2-1 over Sampdoria. Torino lost 0-1 to Sassuolo. Augsburg win 1-0 over Bayern Munich. Leverkusen draw 1-1 against Werder Bremen. Borussia Dortmund 1-0 win over Schalke. Stuttgart lost 1-3 to Frankfurt. Mönchengladbach win 3-0 over RB Leipzig. Montpellier won 2-1 over Strasbourg. Lille win 2-1 over Toulouse. That's all for this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the latest videos from this channel, see ya.